This is the award-winning Lee Pitts Live. Brought to you by the North Law Firm for car accidents and negligent security cases. Call Joe at 239-337-1191. And by Lee Health. Southwest Florida, welcome back. We're so thrilled to have you here with us at this fine Blanchard House Museum. And if you have mold in your house or suspect you have mold or need to know about the health hazards and how to get it cleaned up, we're so fortunate in our community we have an expert in the field. Elvis Collier is here to, to have that discussion. Uh, Elvis, let's get your full title. I'm the owner of Emergency Management Restoration. Uh, I go by owner. I think owner kind of speaks to itself. Uh, some people want to use president, but I just go by Elvis, okay. by the owner. How would you describe emergency management restoration? What is it? Emergency management rest restoration is uh, an institution that um, uh, helps and manages uh, mold um, from the beginning stages to the end. Um, there are multiple steps in remediating mold uh, where um, we come in to a facility, uh, to identify what's wet, how wet, and what needs to be extracted. And when we're finished, uh, we provide the, uh, the owner or the person who's been infected by the mold with a certification that your home now is free and clear of the mold microbials. Mm. Now, you are a certified mold remediation specialist. That means that you've got some certifications here. I want people to know that you, you're big time. What does that certification mean? Well, Lee, actually, um, uh, uh, I hold 13 um, really? certifications in the um, health and safety field. Uh, the uh, institution is um, known as Institution of Inspection Cleaning. Uh, the acronym is IICRC. And several of my uh, credentials are in fire, water, mold, lead-based mm. paint. And so what that mean is uh, when I'm called to a project, uh, before I commit to that project, um, I make sure that can I maintain, can I actually remediate this environment uh, to the standards that uh, the state holds as what we need to actually hold it by. Uh, through the institution of IICRC, which is the Institution of Inspection Cleaning, mm -hmm. there's a standard procedure. Uh, and if I place my hands on it, uh, when it's done, uh, I know and the client uh, is educated on what took place and that it's actually remediated. Mm -hmm. If a person doesn't see mold at their home or their business, does that mean there's no mold there? Absolutely not, and that's, uh, that's really a big question, uh, Lee. Um, mold is, uh, uh, when you see mold, uh, you are looking at a, uh, an after effect. Uh, for instance, um, if mold is seen on a ceiling, uh, typically, Typically, and this is, uh, I know I'll probably get some uh, bump back from other specialists, it's statubotrys. Uh, they call it in the, I guess, the neighborhood black mold, but the actual name for it is statubotrys. It's one of the common names. But to see mold is one phase. To smell mold is another phase. Uh, I would like to probably uh, warn people if they smell something musty and odorous, mm. know that mold is there, but when you actually see it on the back side of that material, it's horrific. Um, the one example I use, if you were to take a wine glass and pour water on carpet, on the top portion of that carpet, you're going to see maybe a spill about you know, a 50 cent piece. But on the back side of that carpet, mm -hmm. it can be the size of a you know, full-size pizza. And this is the, the hazard that many people don't understand. So when you actually see mold coming through the material, on the back side of it, it's saturated. Mm. It's, it's, uh, it, it needs to be corrected immediately. Does Clorox kill mold? You know, uh, uh, bleach. Bleach. Like, like, <laughs> right. I call it Clorox. Clorox, Clorox, it Clorox bleach. or bleach or, or any of those household chemicals 
uh, they are actually the worst um, really? thing to use on mold. Here's the deal, Lee. Uh, mold is, uh, let's call it two parts. To not, real, to not get too technical, let's call it two parts. You have the adult mold spores and you have the baby mold spores. The adult mold spores, practically anything can kill it because it doesn't have a shell and it doesn't have uh, a skin or any type of thing that needs to be penetrated. So you're easily able to kill uh, the adult mold spores. Um, but the problem is bleach or Clorox or any of those household products, they're a high 90% water with a very small percent chemical. The chemical kills the adult mold spores, but the chemical is not fine enough to penetrate the shell of the baby mold spore. So that 90 plus percent, which is water, once the chemical wears off, then what you've done is you've provided a feast for the baby mold spores. That's why if you see a mold spot, you take a bleach and you wipe it down, and the next day it's twice as large, you've done, you've fed the, the mold. That's very educational. You've fed the mold. And, 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 and I'm glad you said all that because people are looking at you now on television, listening to you on radio and hearing all of this. When they go out to get a person to remove mold, uh, they need to have a person like yourself who's very knowledgeable of what you are doing. Um, do you find out there, not that you need to call any names or anything, but people don't realize that they need to be dealing with an expert? Absolutely, and, and, and that's, that's where and why I call it, uh, it's a silent epidemic in our community. It's silent because um, many contractors uh, will try to remediate uh, a moldy environment by removing the sheetrock, removing the insulation, and then putting the insulation back in and putting the sheetrock back on, painting the environment, and calling it a done deal. Um, there are, and that sounds done to me, but it's that, not, right? That's not I know done. you're getting ready to tell that's me it's not all, done all at all. Done, right, all you've done <laughs> is basically um, have uh, put a Band-Aid right. over a surgical wound. Uh, there are three steps that needs to occur. One, you determine what's wet and how wet. You must first stop what caused the moisture intrusion. You stop that, that's step one. It's so very critical. If you don't stop what caused it, and put back new material, it's going to just repeat itself again. The second is to remove and extract what's been wet. And third is to dry it. And then fourth is to treat it with a microbial. It's much like if you put a new deck on your porch and you cover it with Thompson seal, a microbial sealant will do just that. As long as you've stopped what caused the moisture and put the microbial on top of it, no more mold will grow on that material in that particular area. Now, people looking at you saying, I want to get in touch with him. Uh, we got your contact information appearing on the screen. Won't you say it verbally as well? Uh, you can reach me uh, directly at area code 239-219-9491. You can like me on Home Advisor. There you go. Uh, which is um, homeadvisor.com and just do a search for emergency management restoration. Now, would you go out, does it cost somebody for you to go out and do an assessment of what the situation might be? Absolutely not. We, really? Um, we provide free estimates, and uh, we, um, I try to, That's excellent. Uh, we provide free estimates only because uh, I want to educate um, the homeowner or the business owner, uh, because it's through the education um, that you understand and that you can uh, really appreciate what needs to uh, take place. What territory do you cover? What do you cover all of Southwest Florida, the surrounding seven counties? What, uh, all right, we cover from Sarasota to South Collier County. I see. That is outstanding. Now, uh, the mold. Yes. Uh, health hazards. Uh, what are some of the he basic health hazards of having mold in your in your surrounding area? Lee, that's a big question, and oftentimes I, um, I'm slow to really answer and provide that with um, individuals who are suffering from mold, but um, without scaring you, uh, it affects our, um, our cranial, it affects our memory, our short-term, long-term, it affects our eyes, it affects um, our uh, nasal passages, it affects our skin, 
um, some children are diagnosed with um, uh, they're diagnosed with asthma, and they're given uh, Retlin as a result mm -hmm. when actually they're suffering from uh, mold uh, infestation. Uh, we had a contract with HUD. We serviced over 10,000 properties. And in children's bedrooms, uh, it was notorious around where their beds were. Mm. Uh, the walls were so saturated mm. and mushy, you can push it mm. in with, a, with your hand. And then they would uh, sleep in this environment. And so the child would uh, pick up symptoms like uh, um, Tourex or ticks. And if they raise the awareness to their homeowner, then the homeowner uh, becomes angry. Mm -hmm. And then now the resident uh, is uh, subjected to um, bad treatment mm. or maybe even become evicted. And that may not be the financial situation best for them. So I have to leave it alone and watch and know that children are being exposed to high levels of mold spores same thing with the school systems. I've been in several school buildings. Did I just say school buildings? I've been inside <laughs> of, of uh, municipalities where mold, uh, the minute you open the door, it's, it reeks with mold. But you really can't have a, lo a loud voice because the price tag to correct it mm. is uncomfortable to speak about. That's why it's an epidemic. So these children are be getting exposed at home and exposed at school and the ramifications of it, the list, the medical uh, list of the implications are huge. Temperament, uh, Tourex, um, tics, um, stuttering, um, learning disabilities or learning, uh, learning shortcomings. It's, it's affecting their immune system. And you can't measure. look at a wall and determine whether it's wet or not. If you don't physically see mold, um, no, you need an instrument, uh, instruments to determine. And you got all of that state-of-the-art tech, yes, tech stuff. Yes, instruments that are determined what's wet and how wet. Um, and if you know that uh, typically leaks are what's called a top-down or bottom-up. Bottom-up is hurricanes uh, like Hurricane Irma, where we receive flood and the moisture wicks up. Um, top down is if you're, when I say wick up, it's like a sponge. If you mm -hmm. pour water on a sponge, how it absorbs and take it. Well, that's what's exactly what sheetrock does. It, it absorbs it. Final question. Yes. How can people, and we, I'm encouraging everybody to, if you think you got mold or you suspect some of your friends have got mold, to get in touch with uh, Elvis Collier. Uh, how can people, like, are there certain symptoms that they may be coughing around the house or something to say, hey, we may have a mold issue here. Just kind of give us some basic Sesame Street things that people may recognize and say, hey, I might have a mold issue. Right. Beautiful, Lee. If you have a continuous headache, if you have continuous eye aches, um, if you're unable to sleep, uh, if you see a pattern in your physical behavior changing and you don't understand why it's changing, but maybe you feel better when you get mm -hmm. at work. Maybe you feel better once you've had some time away from your own home. But when you come home, now you're suffering with migraine headaches. Now you're having a cough that won't go away. <laughs> now you <laughs> I've been coughing. <laughs> <laughs> now you're having right. Now you're having a runny nose that right, won't right, that won't right. stop, or you have a cut that won't heal. I'm thinking I'm picking up some of this stuff. To, not that I think I got it, but. From around my from swimming pools, probably from all that moisture and stuff, I might be picking up some mold there. Uh, no, when it's in an open environment, less um, lightly. Right, and and I want to say this, Lee, mold is not our enemy. Okay, uh, mold is doing exactly what it's supposed to do. It's supposed to decompose. It's when it's in our homes in tight, non-circulated environments is when it becomes a threat to us. Gotcha. So mold does what it's supposed to do. When a tree falls in the woods, it decomposes. It's, gotcha. it's doing what it's supposed That's to do. That's all it is. All right. When fruit is overly ripe, it decomposes. But when it's in our homes and beside our beds and we're sleeping by it and getting too much of in it. In the mattress? In the mattress. Oh, my goodness. Under the carpet pad. Under hotel the, room. Every, all of it. <laughs> Oh, man, we got to get you back, Maurice. Uh, uh, Elvis call you. Right. <laughs> okay. Man, that was very educational. I'm sure uh, our studio audience was enjoying that as well. Let's give him a hand. <laughs>
as the saying goes on this particular show, for those who say it can't be done, they're usually interrupted by those like Elvis Collier, who just came in here and just, just gave us a riveting presentation who are doing it. Be sure to get in touch with them. We'll be right back with our next guest. Hey, this is Lee Pitts, the host of Lee Pitts Live, right here on Fox 4. Glad you checked us out here on YouTube. You want to not miss any of our shows, so we encourage you to subscribe by clicking that red button at the bottom there, and uh, all our Lee Pitts Live shows will come directly to you, conveniently located.